Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. This is going to be a client's love reading. This will be a love, intuitive love session. Um, and for this session, my client has asked regarding about a relationship, a new relationship that they are in. Um, so they have questions about where this, you know, is this relationship going too fast? Is it going to, um, like what is basically what is what does it look like how is the energy flowing with it um they're just nervous so my client feels very um what's the word i'm looking for cautious um due to previous relationships and they are just wondering if if they're moving too fast or you know we're gonna kind of pull on all of that, but I really wanna see right now what energy you're working with. You, my love, <laughs> your energy, before we even dive into the relationship. Oh, there we go. So we got Capricorn. Okay, when I see Capricorn, I think of control freaks. I think of people who are very, um, <coughs> They're analytical, they are serious, they're very hard worker, um, dedicated, but they're also very, I feel like they're control freaks. I feel like they like to have the say-so in things. So it's funny that this came up for you because perhaps you're finding yourself embracing that kind of energy where you feel like you have to control the relationship so that it doesn't go sour so that you don't get bored or almost like you wish you can be like a puppeteer um, to ensure that it doesn't go in the direction that you don't want it to go so kind of like a control that was like control freak was like the first um, the first word that came to mind when I was pulling so <laughs> Ah, here we go. So we have justice that fell out. <sighs> we have the empress. All right. Page of cups, <coughs> king of wands. Okay, so instantly I feel like Spirit is saying, um, enough with the little boys, let's have grown men, okay? So I don't know if this is something that you feel worried about with this person. Maybe this new person does feel older. Maybe they are older. But I feel like the message that came through with this was um, you need to stop devoting your time to little boys. I feel like with the page coming up, um, I also feel like when it comes to expressing emotions, the page of cups is saying to be careful with giving too much too soon. Um, almost like you may feel like you want to express things quickly um, I would just advise you to to think a little bit more before you say things if, I don't know that feels very channeled <laughs> that feels very channeled um, and by that I mean like it's just something that's flowing through me that I feel like I have to say um, the justice card is balance okay love so seeking balance with the relationship and that goes hand in hand, I feel, with the Capricorn. Um, the Capricorn energy, like I said, I was feeling control-ish, like wanting to control the situation, wanting to control the outcome, um, and to control the relationship in general. Um, maybe you have tendencies of being that way. And the justice is saying having balance and equality in your relationship, in any relationship, whether it's the one you're currently in or anyone new the justice is important to have that balance okay 
it's also it's also what you deserve too because I feel like um, with the past there wasn't balance between you and the significant other in the past there was um, a lot of you putting in more effort more of your emotions being put through and, and the other person just disregarding or being manipulative about it so I feel like justice is also saying like it's time for you to obtain what you deserve what you feel like you deserve and to receive the kind of love you know you deserve um, Empress is very nurturing so I feel like the element that you bring forward into this relationship is um, wanting to control things needing more balance but I also feel Empress is um, you like to nurture when you love you very much love you give a lot of yourself you devote a lot of yourself so I'm seeing that there um, I'm also feeling and this is another channeled feeling <laughs> um, he's already starting he might be starting to disappoint because I'm really feeling drawn to this almost like he's showing you tendencies of being like a little boy but then he acts like a man too so kind of like he's still flip-flopping between being too childish but then again he does show up so I don't know that's just a feeling I have running with that patience that speaks volumes for you because like I said we were talking about Capricorn energy wanting to control your question was are we moving too fast patience let things go unfold as they're meant to don't try to control the outcome don't cut, try to control the process have patience rest and rejuvenate shadow and reversed as I probably can as you already know because I feel like you're feeling this the shadow in reverse is kind of saying this relationship has brought out a lot of your fears it's almost like you have um, insecurities I feel is what spirit is saying insecurities um, anxieties over the previous relationship and it's this brings it out okay it's a process of learning it's a process of learning how to deal and you are not doing it wrong you are doing what you need to do um, I am simply just saying the tendency to control is there how you choose to handle that is how you it's up to you but I will say that a lot of these shadows the shadow coming up is causing this mm, little bit of like wanting to control the relationship and fearful of it falling in the same footsteps as the previous one that kind of thing it's normal it's okay to feel that way it's okay to, to go through that you know it's your process it's, it's how you are handling it but the rest and rejuvenate and the patience card is saying take it slow so to answer your question are we moving too fast take it slow have patience that it'll unfold as it is meant to but rest and rejuvenate is like it's like saying when you start to feel anxious and when you start to feel um, unsure and you're over analyzing as a Capricorn energy would um, rest and rejuvenate take space to have space ask for space take a step back um, you don't have to see this person every single day for example you don't have to um, constantly be in messages with them in text messages or calling them or whatever don't fall into the same patterns as previous relationships I also feel is like important to say you need your own time for you um, another thing that's sticking out is the fours okay so I have fours here um, and I feel like the four is resembling 
um, foundation balance and then foundation and you needing to have more of a rooted a rooted approach to relationships because right now I feel like you're kind of all over the place um, and that a lot of that comes with personal like confidence in yourself and confidence in yourself that like yes you had struggles in the previous relationship but it doesn't define the next one this is a whole new clean slate okay so let's talk about the relationship now now that I'm seeing the kind of energy that that you're dealing with let's talk about the relationship where is it what does it look like where is it going Uranus. I love that. This is probably what attracted you to him in the first place. Uranus energy is rebelliousness. It is thinking outside the box. This is somebody who is a daredevil, somebody who is not, they're not standing in line without asking, what are we standing in line for, you know? Um, they will find a way around the line. The, these are people who don't follow the rules, but they also, you know, they still, they're still, they still do what they got to do, but they like to just be out. They like to color outside of the lines. You know, they like to test boundaries. They don't like to follow set systems, that kind of thing. And your relationship is like that. And I think that that is what attracted you to this person in the first place because they were very different from anyone you dated before. It was something most likely that attracted you to them, um, their differences, the, there's something about them that felt exciting. And um, this has probably also opened up some new stuff for you to experience in yourself too. So I love that. I also feel a relationship like this needs a lot of breathing room. Don't clutter yourselves, don't, um, don't smother yourselves. I feel like you both need individuality to make this relationship work, which is a good thing because it allows you to do your own thing as well as him do his thing. Um, and then you guys come together when you hang out, when you see each other, but it is still very important that you both have your own life. So that's pretty darn good <laughs> you get a lot of cards that fly out my love so that you have a guide here that wants really wants you to just see the message so we have material and spiritual prosperity so this is telling me either this could be a delay in obtaining this or it could be maybe the two of you are not on the same page um, materially or spiritually perhaps so there could be a difference there and that might be also why opposites attract perhaps that's what uranus energy is for you too um but i know it may be too soon to have the talk of like what you both want out of the future but eventually when you have that conversation you may find that you want one thing and they want another so that will be something i feel that is going to come up. It's important to have those conversations, especially if you see yourself being serious with this person. Um, but I feel like you're going to find that you're not always on the same page as this individual. And perhaps that's why I was feeling with those two cards, the page and the king, that this person um, tends to disappoint you in a way. Okay. We have awareness in reverse you're like kind of like saying you're not when I would see awareness in the upright I would think okay you're on you're really on point you know you really you're paying attention to the red flags that kind of thing in reverse it kind of kind of makes me feel like maybe you maybe you don't want to see things as they really are um 
or awareness another like the first thing I thought was like you're not listening to your intuition that kind of thing too um, and trusting it in regards to the relationship so maybe you're, you're trying a different approach with this relationship because you want it to be different um, we have choose wisely and reversed so was this an impulse relationship <laughs> Was this something that you jumped into quickly? And maybe that is why you're asking if this was, if you're moving too fast, because the cards are kind of all revealing and with Uranus energy, which is like I said, rebellion. Um, maybe the way that you guys met and got together was on a whim. It was impulse, it was random, you know? Um, and maybe, you, you know, you just did it. You just go for it. You didn't really think twice about it. So, um, that would be interesting. Let me know. <laughs> Let me know if that's true. Okay, let's pull on um, where are you guys headed. And also know the future is subject to change based on your present action. So, don't let this be, this isn't set in stone, okay? So we have the Seven of Wands, we have the Two of Swords, the Ace of Cups, the Two of Cups. So this relationship can definitely grow, okay? This can go places. But what I'm seeing here is the first portion of this relationship is lots of blocks, dealing with some obstacles, you know, typical. We have the Two of Swords, which I feel is you. Maybe you um, go back and forth with closing yourself off, closing your heart, not letting him in, um, fearing that, or um, you needing your space. I feel like this also kind of resembles you needing your own space. And it, it, it is important that you have that. So we go back to the Uranus card, which is having your individuality. You can have that and still be in a relationship with somebody. Um, and then we have the energies of the Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Cups is all about the flow, okay? This is the flow of letting your emotions out, having conversations, perhaps having that conversation that we were talking about, um, where you find that maybe you have some differences in your paths and what you perceive your future to be. So heavy, deep conversations are in the process are, are going to be happening and with that comes unionship so I do feel um, that this relationship will keep going it will grow um, I see that and I see that the two of you you know maybe opposites attracted at one point but you're also learning from one another I get that feeling like when I say the coils here I feel like that's really standing out to me so I feel like it's like you two your differences are are coiling together you are connecting and learning from one another um, I think you needed this kind of a relationship whether this lasts or it doesn't there are going to be big things that you're gonna be learning from this person um, I feel like this person will prove to you that not everybody is like the ex okay um, regardless if, if this moves forward or, or it ends there's going to be things that you're going to be taking out of it. I feel like the Oracle cards are kind of saying you need to trust yourself more. Um, slow down a little bit. Choose wisely is in reverse. So I feel like that's kind of saying, you know, you tend to be impulsive when it comes to love. Um, so just kind of just be aware. I feel like that awareness card, that one, that's the only one that's bugging me. Is, the, is that it came in reverse for you. Because I think naturally you are a very intuitive person. So when it comes to love, I feel like it's important for you to be more aware and trusting of your own um, feelings when it comes to red flags and stuff like that. Um, so I, I would say if there's anything that I worry about with the cards, it would be this one. Because it just doesn't seem to fit you. So... So yeah, um, I'm just trying to think if I want to pull from this deck again. A 
authority in reversed, recognition and reward. We have envy and deceit, or deception and envy in reversed. So I feel like, <laughs> first off, Spirit is saying authority in reverse, like with the Capricorn, well, that's not the Capricorn, but the Capricorn card of you wanting control of the relationship. Authority in reverse is kind of like saying you got to kind of take a step back. Try not to have so much control over things and allow things to naturally flow. You need more of that flow. You're also lacking um, pentacles in your reading. So earth energy, which is groundedness. Um, so perhaps, you know, I don't know. That might be an area that you'll come into. Maybe that'll be where you two will find differences is whether if you know if you guys are going to school or where you work okay so i'm getting that feeling too of like where you want to go in the future where do you want to set your roots and maybe that's why the pentacle suit hasn't come up yet because the two of you haven't gone that far yet so that's like looking further into it um i just feel like once you like pull back a little bit and you let things flow as they're naturally meant to, you know, you won't be worrying so much. The deception and envy card in reversed, to me, this is also saying like, take it easy with the, the whole trust card. Um, he hasn't given you a reason to distrust him. Okay, so I feel like, you know, the deception card is like in reverse saying like, take it easy, slow down on that. Because I do read reversals as like in time frames of slowing down. Um, so take it easy, slow down on that aspect. Um, don't create something that doesn't exist just because of someone else in the past, if that makes sense. Um... I feel like this relationship is so new. I feel like it's fresh that you haven't dived in deep and the cards are showing very like surface level um, messages. So that's a good thing too because I think that, you know, this allows you to still get to know one another. Um, but I haven't, it doesn't show deepness. Before we end your reading, I want to pull one little card on you. your approach to love. Sacrifice. Sometimes you have to put yourself in situations that you didn't, maybe you didn't think you're ready for or sacrifices as in like I feel like it, I don't want to say like you have to put yourself in uncomfortable situations because you should never feel uncomfortable. But I feel like you owe it to yourself to dive in to situations and people and experiences that maybe you weren't allowed to have before. And maybe that's why this energy of this person that you're currently seeing is so refreshing to you because they're different. It's new, it's exciting, it's a mystery. And maybe sometimes you need to do that. You have to sacrifice your boundaries, your, like maybe the limitations that you place on love because of the past. You have to break those limitations. And as scary as it is to love again, you have to make that sacrifice to yeah, you're literally making yourself vulnerable again to hurting and having your heart broken. But we all make those sacrifices when we fall in love. Everybody, myself included, it hap it's, it's a part of the process. But I feel like for you, there's... It's almost like it's not just a sacrifice, it's liberation. 
because the feeling I'm getting from her is more almost like she's being liberated from the murkiness, from the dirt, from the past. So whether this relationship, you know, goes to forever or not, you're learning about yourself in the process. But I feel like one of the biggest lessons you need to learn right now is to not have to have so much control. Sometimes you have to just let it go and let things flow. <laughs> let it go and let it flow, my love. So I hope that this card reading helped you. I hope that you received some, you know, messages that you needed to hear. Um, you know, we could talk about this session through email if you'd like. So please feel free to email me. And I look forward to booking another session with you in the future where we can tap into, you know, maybe further into this relationship when the two of you um, dive in deeper. Um, you know, we can look at aspects like that. So let me know. And anyone who's watching, this is the Intuitive Love Session. Um, they are available for purchase in my shop. So the link is in the bio. Check it out. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, loves.